Welcome back to Edu Skills. OET made easy. How much she needs to make you fall in love with OET. If you are watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing channel, give us a thumbs up. If you like our work and share this video to your contacts so that we reach out to the maximum number of OET aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OET. All the services at Edu Skills are free of cost, no payments of any sort. And you can find uh, the links of the recordings in the description given below. Please share so that we reach out to those who are financially struggling to crack OET. Okay, keep smiling and today we have part B, beautiful segment and we will be looking into the whole segment with a different approach. Okay, eliminate, eliminate grammatically incorrect sentence. We are taking from reading part B. As we have seen in the elimination method, seven skills of elimination, if you have not attended the session, there is a video in the Edu Skills OET YouTube channel. Please visit, you will have clarity on the concept. So they eliminate the absolute, eliminate wrong ones, all those things. Then we have seen the third skill that we have learned is look for precise language. More professional and scientific answer is always correct. And uh, the one straight opposites, radical answers, and educated guess, all those things we have seen, random guess, all these things we have seen. We are focusing on a precise language. Okay, use grammar rules. Look for precise language. More professional and scientific answer is always right. So grammatically incorrect options, for example, the people of India, or one option says a country full of athletes. There is no verb here. You cannot make a people of India a country full of athletes. You cannot make a sentence. So our focus here is just eliminate grammatically incorrect sentence. We'll listen to the system, reading it. Which of the following can be understood from the text? Face masks may be worn only when instructed by a nurse if a member of the infection control team. It is necessary for all hospital staff and visitors to follow additional infection prevention precautions before entering the hospital premises wearing face mask might not be required at all times. In the option A, face mask may be worn only when instructed by a nurse of a member of the infection control team. So nurse of a member of the in infection control team means... Where is it in the text, uh, in the passage? Did you find that mm. the same expression now they are asking? Which of the following can be understood from the text? Which of the following? Only one is understood from the text. So you have that. Additional precautions may be required in certain... And these will be advised... By a nurse, by a nurse, by a nurse of, by a nurse in or a, charge or, or a member. member of, or a member. Yeah. So here it says a nurse or a member. 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 Of the okay, infection but, control team. But here it says nurse of a member. Okay. It looks same. It looks same. Why I am teaching you this uh, in this category? Learn these strategies, how to apply the strategies and identify the questions. So what I'm telling you, nurse or doctor is not nurse of a team, right? Nurse or a doctor or anyone of the team can advise. But the first option says only the nurse of a member of the infection control team should advise about wearing face masks so you see the difference so just we have to focus on this when you read make it very clear that uh, the sentence or the option uh, goes along with the text so if you have a doubt here now what happens normally we take it for granted and we read it it is same for example here it says this will be advised by a nurse in charge or a member of the infection control team even when we read there is a pause because but then otherwise, face mask may be worn only when instructed by a nurse of a member of the infection control team. So you see, the or of the grammar used is different. I will also show you examples where the sentence itself, without looking at the text, you can make out a grammatical mistakes in the option itself. So it is necessary for all hospital staff and visitors to follow. Here you have seen all hospital staff and visitors. What was that? All is an, all is an absolute. Yeah, all is an absolute. So normally absolutes can be eliminated. See how easily we reach out to the next option. Now there is nothing to look for. To know that wearing the face mask might not be required at all times. There's another strategy being used here. What Could you tell me what is it? Model verb. Model verb is Model used. Model verb is there. Other than that? Negative meaning. Negative meaning, exactly. This is negative meaning of what? See? Not For all. instance, certain conditions may certain require conditions. face mask. Right. May, might. Right. They are the model verbs. Right. And may require a face mask to be worn. 
may require. Now here, wearing face mask might not be required at all times, which means it is required sometimes. 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 Yeah. So that is called may. This, yeah, this is what you have to practice, understand, write down these statements, this statement in the, uh, this one, per, uh, passage, as well as the answer option, which is given, which is right, write down in a notebook, and understand how they use these expressions. When you are familiar with these expressions, automatically you will come to know this is how they manage. This is also known as another strategy is paraphrasing. This is a way of para paraphrasing, say, speaking the same thing in other words or uh, reading the same thing in different words. So you have here grammatical issue, grammatically in, uh, improper language, not precise gra grammar used. Other one, you have absolute, you have model verb, you have negative meaning. It doesn't mean you have to find out all these strategies. Only when you learn, you have to go into details. Later on, when you uh, do it, you don't require to look into these things at all. Immediately, you will understand as you go through the options. As we have this QAT method, question, answer options, then text. So as soon as you go into the answer options, you will have an idea what they are saying. And as soon as you see an absolute, you just ignore that. And you choose between the other two options. And if you get confused, for example, this also is given in the answer. That's, that's what I said. You have to focus on the precise language. Though the A option is exactly given here, one word of and or grammar mistake or the difference is there. That's what makes this wrong option. Hope that is clear for you.